Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK back at it again with another video and uh, this is another weekly update video. Um, so I said I wasn't going to do another video this week but um, I found too much stuff. I just uh, need to share it before I you know, organize it and stuff and put it away in this lovely room that I'm in. So um, obviously it was a great week for me. I got, um, if you've seen the REOK I got from uh, Doug Storhoff, check the grail piece off the list. That's awesome. That already has a spot on this wall back here. So I'll set that aside for now. But I got that. Um, that's was the That could have been enough for the week. Um, but I was actually able to get a couple of custom things done. I um, ended up getting some really sweet vintage stuff this week. And I'm just going to try to show it all to you right now. Um, so custom wise, I painted this uh, Lamborghini Countach body. This really cool color. And uh, for those of you that are still using rattle cans like I am, um, this is a paint that you probably pass over when you go looking um, at the automotive stores, this VHT, very high temperature engine enamel stuff or whatever. It's awesome. Um, it's like dries super rock hard and uh, it's just a super durable finish. And they got not a whole lot of colors, but the colors have some depth to them. Um, this actually has some like metal flake to it, and uh, this looks like iron cast. I painted a couple customs in this that uh, super band that I did with the red flames, the one that has LEDs in it is painted with this. Anyway, good paint. You should try it out at the customs. Um, just thought I'd share that little bit of knowledge with you. And uh, this is a Countach body. This thing's gonna look pretty cool when I'm done with it. So there's that. And then I got uh, this guy, BMW CSL 3.0 race car. This I made for Mr. Lamar Fashion, my buddy. I just wanted to show it to you quick because I know he won't mind that I'm showing it, right? But, yeah, it's got headlights. It's pretty sick. <clears throat> and it rolls pretty nice, too. So that's pretty awesome. Made that for you, buddy. Um, hope you like it. Uh, I know you will. Um, okay, so then today, I found this at uh, Toys R Us. My Toys R Us totally revamped their whole area, their whole die-cast area, and it looks like they're going to carry a lot more stuff now. So that's pretty awesome and pretty dangerous uh, for me in my pocketbook. But uh, I'll crack this at a later date, and I'll take a closer look at that. Would love to get the raw of this. Almost had it in a trade, um, and uh, it fell through. So I don't have it, but I do want to get the raw of this, and if I do get the raw of this, I'm going to crack that. If anybody's got that, I want to trade for it. Um, and then the best part, I guess, of the haul of the week of stuff that I purchased um, is I got some, uh, some vintage Hot Wheels here. Uh, this was uh, round two of this charity sale um, where this person donated their collection uh, for the Harbor House. And uh, basically, um, they're selling it for charity, so all the money that you spend goes to charity. And the prices were super reasonable. Um, the, the lady that was doing it is uh, super cool. She knows I'm a collector, and she knows I care a lot about these things, and uh, got them into my hands for really kind of a steal of a price. So we um, got this guy, real riders, white hubs, power plow or whatever, Henry's hauling. So that's pretty sweet. Um, shout out to PJ. I know you just showed two of these on Instagram, wondering if there's a color variation. I do have another one without the plow. And actually, these are the same same shade, though. They're kind of a lighter green. So I think, yeah, they're definitely a lighter green. So they're on that lighter green side of the, what, the picture that you showed, So from what I can tell. Anyway, so there's those. Pretty sweet. Um, got a couple more of them. This one. This one says Midnight Removal. And then this Real Rider one, Brian's Removal. This one's pretty sweet with white hubs. Really cool. And uh, then I got another crack up. This is supposed to be like a Nissan or Datsun or something. And uh, it's an unlicensed model, but it's crack up and it's in really good condition. So that is cool. Um, got that one. Got this uh, Nissan 300ZX in red. This is awesome. 
really cool casting. I really like this casting. The doors open on it. And all these are in pretty much mint condition, by the way. So that's really sweet. Got some Baja Beetles. Some Real Rider Baja Beetles. Awesome. That one is my favorite. That is super awesome. Got the uh, yellow one with gray hubs. And a yellow one with white hubs. Really, really nice stuff. Got a couple of Sunagons. This is a really cool black wall casting. Pretty neat. Got an orange one. And got a blue one. Again, mint condition. Ooh. At least it was. No, nope, still is. So, really sweet. And then a couple of, one of these Supervans. I actually didn't have this one. I've got the Chrome one. I've got a Chrome one in really good condition, thanks to Paul Wooten. Thank you very much, Paul. And then I got uh, this one, thanks to this sale. So, I got this for five bucks. And that's a good deal on that. So, that's pretty awesome. And then a Hot Bird with Hot Ones wheels. So that is pretty sweet. I'd have to say, though, my favorite of this old school bunch is probably this awesome Baja Bug with flames and white real riders. I think that looks really, really sweet. But there is just a lot of cool pieces uh, that I picked up. There's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 pieces. So. Really awesome vintage stuff. The vintage real rider stuff is really cool. I'd love to have some of it carded, but it's great to have it uh, loose. Um, so that's going to be pretty much it for my haul this week. So got a couple of some work done on some customs. Lamar will be sending this your way. Uh, hope you dig it. I already shared it on Instagram, so I guess I can share it here too. Um, and I'm uh, going to be cracking that sometime soon. Um, and that's going to be it for this week. So really good week for me got checked off a grail piece thanks to doug storhoff thank you very much and then got these really sweet vintage pieces got to work on some customs a little bit and uh so a pretty good week um hopefully next week will be uh pretty good too so anyway thank you guys for watching have a great day